versus New England's best, best Marth. Marth. Uh, I mean, Pug West, you know, back in the day was arguably one of the best Marths ever, but I think Mystery is slowly starting to take that spot away from them. They're, they're actually, they're really, really even. I mean, their play styles are very different. Mm -hmm. Mr. E will play very offensively in, in your face, while Pug plays very, like, patient and defensively. And even when they fight each other, it's always, like, last game, last hit. Just at the time, Pug had way more, um, like, tournament appearances and notable wins. Yeah. But Mr. E came back. Like, at the time, Mr. E dropped Mark. Wow. But I'm, let's, we'll talk about it later. We're going to talk about yeah. the match because we just we, lost a stock from lost Doughboy. Stock already coming from that Dolphin Slash from Pug West. Just Doughboy missed the tech, falls to his death. He's donezo. Oh, man. So we have – I'm kind of curious at what, you know – I'm I'm honestly kind of triggered and curious to see what a double a doubles partner Samus can do. Um, little little snippet about myself: when I double with my um, with my come my friends and teammates, I always double with uh, my friend or name his his name and tag is Greg. He plays Samus. Mm -hmm. It's very hard with the hitboxes, with the charge shots, with the missiles, yeah, and with her aerial time and what she can do. As a Marth, I'm like, I'm not sure how to use this or work this together. But right now we have exactly my team, a Marth Samus. What can they do against? One of the dangerous, most but dangerous team here. Recovering a little bit too low there. Yeah. Wasn't able to get back onto the, the ledge. But yeah, as you say, like Samus, even with the buffs that Samus has received, like she's still not the greatest. Like she's she's still struggling to be like you know trying to prove her worth. But you know catches the spot dodge from Pug West, able to get that grab. Oh, he tried to stay. He tried to save him. Didn't work. But still turn around, F smash, and got his teammate away. And that's a temporary Great. Koga. Temper. Koga. Showing what he's worth. Get the gold stool. What? That's it. Did he learn that from me? <laughs> that was amazing. And oh, almost there. Kool Aid did a um. He did a jab combo or the the, the rapid jab. While pretty much Puck West held an up smash and at the last minute his um opponent pretty much like SDI away so he wouldn't go for the kill or get the kill pretty much. Amazing awareness by his opponent there. Let's go see nobody. Just gonna throw that Zare trying to hit all three opponents just to get him out of the way. Just pu push him back. And right now, blue team's getting a little bit juggled here, being thrown around, being pretty much ragdolls right now, but they can still come back. Ooh, and in the blast zone, bouncing, bouncing fish. fish. They're going to take that share of stock. You can get that forward smash from Koga, pushing Kool-Aid off stage. Comes back with a bouncing fish of his he own. He is still living. He footstooled him. He jumped on Doughboy, footstooled him, so he's like in a st the slightest stun, so that Bugbos is able to catch him. We see that... Uh, forward tilt coming from Pug West, interrupting uh, the charge shot from yeah. Doughboy, so he was not able to shoot off. Or was that jab? I didn't, I didn't quite, quite catch it. The attack. See Doughboy I, back off stage. I'm not sure. Back on there. Dope. We see this team combo happening. Oh my gosh! They're juggling him. See that forward smash coming from Pug West. Let's see if Doughboy can get back on the stage. He's got to take off three different socks. Things are not looking so oh high. My Great gosh, good attack from Doughboy, knowing that gonna go for that down air from Kool-Aid. We see him catching him with that and up air, wow. and that's gonna catch him. That was actually an amazing little setup. He said, all right, he's gonna do this, and let me just hit him out of it, and you go for your hit. It was, it was a respectable tech coming from Doughboy. No, like, like you said, either he was he was trying to buffer an air dodge, or he knew he was gonna get hit, so he ended up pushing that trigger on the edge of the stitch, and he lived just a little bit longer. But that was not actually that bad coming from um, Koga and Doughboy. That was really They put up a fight. They put up a fight. Put Let's up, see if they can, fight. like, you know, Bring it back a little, a little bit more. Is it possibly going to be a character swap? See him hovering over some characters. Don't do it. See him hovering don't, over Judith. Trying don't, to get, don't. He's trying to get a reaction from the crowd. See if, like, hey, crowd, should I do this? No. Get ally known to do this. Don't do it. Always, like, uh, it, it's so fun to just, like, hover your, you know, cursor over a character. Just see what, you know, he's going to stick with Marth, though. Okay. I mean, it's working. You got, okay. Like, especially that time when he got that tippered F fresh, went off stage. Got the footstool on Pug West. And I'm actually surprised he didn't go Lucina. He's really he's a Lucina slash Marth kind of like main. Yeah. And you know Lucina is really really great in dubs because she doesn't have to rely on spacing to get killed. Don't get a kill pretty much. You can just like do the same thing Marth does, but at sometimes you might kill a little earlier, and that kind of can come out to your favor, especially in doubles when everything's hectic. You always can't pretty much you know micro space here and there because there's so much going on, and a little a beat punish for that uh little flop by Kool Aid doing um. Boun not bouncing fish. Um, her grenade, flash grenade. So you not be out of shield coming from Doughboy, just trying to push Pug West away out of his zone. Like, just get out of my face. That was a great setup from Doughboy, getting that Zare into forward smash. 
and he's just shoot, shooting off these random charge shots, just hitting the opponents. Oh my god! He's been on point with them so far. You see Koga trying to go off stage, you get something against Pug West. Great counter coming from Pug West, uh, you know, abusing the active hitbox coming from Doi with the uh, Doughboy with the uh, B. I wanted to actually, with, when he actually up aired, I was hoping to see um, pretty much Pug or whoever was a Mark, I'm not even sure what just happened, jump over and hopefully um, shield break, but that could have been his teammate. And good running up of Smash right there, taking Koga out right now with Doughboy off stage. Can he make it back? No, he cannot. Not at all, man. He, we saw Pugwis was on point there. Koga struggling to get back himself, but he manages to get back onto the stage no matter what. See Pugwis dashing back and forth, trying to find something. You see Koga throwing out that up smash. If Pugwis would have been caught by that, that would have cost his stock. But luckily, he was able to hit him out of it. So you see Koga once again throwing out these up smashes. Really scary situation, honestly. I, I don't know if Doughboy should throw up rolls there because Samus' roll was very, very long, especially in doubles. It's pretty much guaranteed to punish. Once again, we see him just do these tilts. Koga's gonna up throw Pug West. Not That's enough. Really crazy. The large blast zones, dude. Like Bla Battlefield has large blast zones. Up throw normally Tippered. kills at 150, and he lived at like 168. Good tech. Coming from Koga, we see you know Pug West, you know trying to recover with that Dolphin Slash. He knew he's gonna go for it, so he, you know preemptive that R. Able to get back onto the stage. Just a lot of people, like a lot of Marths, Marths throwing out aerials, <laughs> hitting their opponents. Here, their active hitbox. Here it's it funny, is. honestly, because even though they're they're almost doing the same thing, Kool Aid and um, Kool Aid. Well, not even Kool Aid itself. Sheik is pretty much dubbed to be Marth 2.0 in this game, but more on the melee side. Pretty much, you can pretty much jump and fair, fair pressure your opponent, wall them out, and then you know, pretty much set up for a kill with Marth on the red team as Pug, throwing out fares, throwing out hitboxes, and hopefully bouncing his opponent around. Kool-Aid can pretty much help in uh, pretty much like volleyball him way better than, uh, say, Doughboy can. Because almost, not saying the same character, but pretty much the same setup. That's why even though they're doing the same thing, one team is benefiting more than the other. Now we see Pug West getting hit by Kogum. He's back off stage, see if he can get back onto the stage. He manages to get back up there, catches the Samus with an up air. And this is looking pretty bleak right here. This is actually, this is another, this is like, what do you go, the opposite. The first time it was, you know, Doughboy in the single seat. But and that Koga temper almost taken. Not going to be enough to kill him. He's going to use the uh, neutral B to get back onto the, get back to the stage using that momentum boost. And that's it. He said, you hit me with a temper, I hit you with a temper. One for one. Yeah. Well, I, I respect the counter he went for because he was expecting the temper, the forward smash to come out right away. But he 